Hello and welcome to the first video in a series on insect pest exclusion. This video will provide viewers with an introduction to insect pest exclusion and discuss the effectiveness of net house for vegetable production. Results discussed herein are from on-farm studies completed in Alabama. There are three recommended IPM approaches for sustainable farming systems. Level 1, systems-based practices like trap crops, and Level 3, use of biorational insecticides, have been discussed separately in the training modules on Alabama Vegetable IPM website. This video discusses the Level 2 IPM practices related to insect pest exclusion practices. Insect pest exclusion is not a new concept. Many exclusion practices, like the use of row covers, reflective mulches, and plant collars are popular among small producers. The main idea is to block insects from feeding and or reproducing on host plants. Exclusion can be time and growth stage specific, or exclusion can be done throughout the life of the crop as discussed in further slides. Special attention must be given to target insect pest and exclusion material for developing a cost-effective production system. A net house is a sealed structure that excludes insect pests throughout the growing season. It is a semi-permanent structure big enough to allow the use of conventional farm equipment. Please see video part 2 that has step-by-step -step instruction on building a net house. Net houses are widely used in Africa, Asia, and South America as sustainable crop production method. Crops with high returns have been successfully grown in developing countries where local food systems are dominated by small producer or limited resource farmers. Majority of these studies have involved producers as technology evaluators and reported significant reduction in insect pest insecticide usage. A USAID project in Kenya called the BioNet Agro Project has a video worth watching for their simplistic approach to insect exclusion. Low-cost net houses can be very useful for southeastern vegetable producers. A small net house using readily available materials can be used for raising insect-free transplants. The cost could be much less than a standard greenhouse. The slides that follow will describe results from a large net house study. This net house was evaluated in Alabama with tomatoes and bell peppers. A 50 mesh netting was used to exclude thrips and white flies that transmit diseases. Transplants were grown outside in a high tunnel and then planted in the net house. A double door was installed to stop insects from getting in. A step-by-step -step net house construction method is available in video part two. Here is a look of the crops inside the net house. Tomatoes and bell peppers were planted using conventional equipment after complete construction. Traffic inside the net house was limited to prevent accidental pest introduction. A 40% retractable shade cloth was installed to lower the temperature. Producers are strongly encouraged to use sticky wing trap to monitor insect pests in open field or inside protected structures. There was a significant reduction in moth numbers inside net houses as shown by the pictures on the right compared to the open field traps on left. Reduced moth numbers mean lower caterpillar pressure inside net house and improved crop production. Due to a 50 mesh screen, the large net house eliminated most of the major moths such as hornworms, armyworms, loopers, and fruitworms. We had an accidental aphid infestation on bell peppers due to infested transplants and lack of natural enemies. There were no outbreaks of thrips, white flies, stink bugs, and leaf-footed bugs in the net house compared to the open field crop which was treated weekly with insecticides to produce a profitable crop. Clearly, there are many benefits of net house vegetable production system in terms of crop yield and quality. Producers should grow disease and heat tolerant vegetable varieties to maximize yield. Our findings related to the significant reduction of insect pests and insecticide usage are consistent with past research. This kind of protected agriculture has more chance of becoming certified organic or certified natural with returns on investment within two to three crop cycles. Insect pests can adapt to the smartest technologies. Armyworm moths were found laying eggs on the storm-damaged fabric resulting in caterpillars entering the structure to feed on crops. The caterpillar pressure was far less than open field and did not reach an outbreak status. Caterpillars were manually removed. Ants may make mounds near the door and those can be treated with insecticide baits. 
Accidental pest introductions may be managed using soft insecticides and or beneficial insects inside the net house. Contact the lead author or regional extension agent to find out more about beneficial insects. Growers must plan for managing humidity inside the structure if a fine screen is used. Growers should select largest pore size adequate for their pest management needs. Installing fans between rows can be an option in smaller structures. Heat can also be managed using shade cloth to reflect radiations. As indicated earlier, protected agriculture with net house or modified high tunnels can improve the effectiveness of softer insecticides and or beneficial insects available commercially. Results of this study are available in multiple formats. Popular articles and bulletins are available on the Alabama Vegetable IPM website. In this video series, part two will provide details for constructing a net house and part three will provide information about insect netting integrated with high tunnels. Consult the authors or commercial horticulture regional extension agent for designing a low cost net house. Attend any specialty crop production meetings statewide for additional hands-on training on insect scouting and control practices. We thank the funding agencies and industry partners for supporting the Alabama Vegetable IPM program.